Good morning. This is a video for Jim Hollister. Hey Jim, I'm just going to do a quick run around on the Wolf Pup. Uh, this is the 18TO that you guys came out and took a look at the other day. So just a reminder. So we got a 20 pound propane on the front. There's your regulator. That's where the battery is going to mount. And then your tongue jack. Okay, moving around on this side, we've got a solar charge uh, panel con uh, connection. So had you get, you know, a solar panel like that, you can set it out, plug it in here, and it will keep your battery charged. By the way, when you're pulling the unit, your battery is going to be charged by the truck. Here's a large compartment for storage. Okay, accessible by the outside and also from underneath the bed. Uh, the unit comes with a, a large uh, electric uh, awning. Okay, here's the vent. This is the vent for the hood stove, the stove vent. Uh, so it takes all the smoke and all the smells and stuff, blows it outside the unit instead of leaving it inside the unit. Uh, there's a television mount, can move the TV out here. There's a couple of marine speakers and then the power connection and cable connection for your feed to the uh, television when it's outside. This is a vent for your heater. It's an intake and exhaust for your heater. Uh, it's always a good idea to put some window screen or something over those holes to keep mud daubers from plugging it up. Uh, moving around to the back, you got your spare tire. And you see it's a single slide out. In the slide out, it does have some additional storage. I'll show you here. Pretty good size storage area right there. Okay, on this side is where your 30 amp service is, your fresh water connection where you fill up your water tank and your city water connection. Always remember to put a regulator on that city water connection so that you can hold the water pressure down. Okay, here is your uh, propane water heater, six gallons, takes about three gallons to take a shower. I mean, it, as soon as you start using it, it comes on and tries to keep up with you. All right, so now we're just going to shift kind of quickly inside. Jim and I'll uh, kind of just go over some things we looked at the other day. It's got the heavy-duty upgraded step with adjustable feet for when you're camping on unlevel ground. Here we have a uh, queen-size bed, and above that bed is additional storage. Also has the USB port and power out to charge your cell phone and a window. It's a key issue, windows on each side of the bed so you get nice breeze on those good days. The bed pulls uh, the couch pulls out and makes a bed, like a double bed. Above it there, there's the uh, rack here with two handles that pulls up and there's a mattress that goes on that so it makes a bunk. So you could do actually two people here, one there if you had to. Then also, the uh, traditional uh, dinette area, the table drops down, makes into a queen bed. And here is the back wall where you have a uh, television mount and also connections for the TV. The bathroom is a good sized bathroom, freestanding toilet, it's got a tub and a shower. Also. It has an exhaust fan in there and a hand crank uh, vent that you can open up on those nice days for breeze. Again, here is the uh, here is the CO2 uh, detector because you know CO2 is heavier than air. You're well aware of that being a fireman. And also we've got the heater and then all the fuse box underneath. This unit has the two. Uh, two burner stove on it underneath that is plenty of storage for all your dry goods okay then we have your hood vent that exhausts to the outside thousand watt microwave with the infamous popcorn button more storage to the left of that plenty of storage the unit comes with a Furion AM FM radio also it's got Bluetooth and USB connection for streaming to it from your phone or any other device the power outlet here for things like blenders and coffee pots and that sort of thing just to the right of the sink 
is the monitor for your gray, black, and fresh water and your battery monitor. The faucet is a residential quality stainless steel faucet. It's where you get a lot of usage in you know the kitchen. So just below that is your refrigerator. Okay. Uh, the unit has a 13.5 BTU air conditioner, more than enough for this unit. Um, also, the unit is wired for sound inside and out. You can run it simultaneously or independently. All the lights in this unit are low energy usage LEDs. And another reason they put them in here is to hold the heat down. You don't want lights, bulbs generating heat. So, just right by the door as you exit, there's your awning button to extend and retract. You slide out, this unit has a single slide out and some light switches. So, that's just pretty much a quick run around Jim for uh, the unit that you looked at the other day. And just, a, just a reminder, and I uh, hope to see you again. This is Jim Gibbons with. Cliff Jones RV and Tractor in Sealy, Texas, 281-802-0630. Thanks for watching.